Sitting proudly to the street, this double-fronted home exudes the charm and sophistication of a bygone era. The era of the Edwardian home and Art Nouveau. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As way of an introduction, my name is Tom Roberts. I'll be your auctioneer for today. And on behalf of Nelson Alexander and our vendors, it is a wonderful welcome that we extend you to our auction here at 235 Amos Street in North Carlton. A property that is more particularly described to you in the attached certificate of title being volume 07442, folio 345. The chattels included in today's sale are very straightforward. They have been on display. To reiterate those for you, we sell all electric light fittings, window furnishings, floor coverings and all fixtures and fittings of a permanent nature. And it does include that security system, which you won't, however, have to uh, look and use here in the suburb of North Carlton. The terms are very clear. A deposit of 10% on the signing of our contract of sale. There is one change to that settlement date in your contract of sale, ladies and gentlemen. It does show the 8th of July 2017. However, for those of you that know your diary very well as a real estate agent would, that falls upon a Saturday. So general condition 16.2 of the contract of sale would suggest it moves to the next business day being Monday the 10th of July 2017. Settlement date is the date upon which we deliver to you vacant possession of the property, you accept title, pay the balance of the purchase monies and take over residence at 235 Amos Street here in North Carlton. Our general conditions and special conditions are stock standard. There's nothing in there that should concern you, worry you or stop you from buying this particular home here today. I will just touch on the section 32 because there are a couple of relevant points just for you to keep into consideration when you get down to our bidding here today. We sell to you again, the title being volume 07442, folio 345, which shows a frontage to Amos Street here of 13.41 metres and a depth to that rear boundary and the right of way axis of some 38.51 metres. You are in a neighbourhood residential zone one. Your outgoings don't exceed $8,000 per annum. The rest of that documentation is very, very straightforward and you should have no problems in signing off on our contract of sale here today. I, however, must advise you of the following, ladies and gentlemen. The auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection prior to the commencement of today's auction. These rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids or offers for a property once the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. As the auctioneer, I will indicate bidders upon request and our vendors do have a reserve price here today. The law prohibits the following. False bids, major disruptions by bidders and bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding and does provide fines for this conduct. The law does provide for or permits me to make a vendor bid on behalf of our vendor. The words that I'll use during the auction to indicate that I am making a bid on behalf of the vendor are vendor bid and only I as the auctioneer may make a bid on behalf of our vendors here today. That is a very, very straightforward contract of sale, ladies and gentlemen. If you had any queries or qualms about what we buy or what we sell, I'd happily answer any questions that you may have. Well, what we'd need you to do today is buy it in your name and or nominee and uh, 27 days prior to the settlement, put him into the contract of sale as well. So you do have that under the contract of sale. It's part of the general conditions. Uh, it's the nomination clause and the exact number for you and I'll tell you exactly is, uh, where are we? Uh, special condition 18. So you get that opportunity obviously from that perspective to nominate him into the contract of sale. Hopefully that helps you and you bid away and we buy and sell to you today. Ladies and gentlemen, any other queries that we have? Uh, Mr Auctioneer, the property has been on the market since around the 11th of April and I'm yet to see a statement of information. Do you have one available today? Wonderful question. You would uh, realise that section 47 AF of the Estate Agents Act 1980 was uh, changed and as at the 1st of May we had to make sure that there was a statement of information on display. The 11th of April this particular property was on the market prior to that so there's no requirement for us to do that. However on our website you will note that there is a statement of information for this particular property. Hopefully that answers your question and you're right in regards to that. Good luck with your bidding here today. Any further questions, ladies and gentlemen? Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we do get underway, it would be very remiss of me not to touch on a couple of quick pointers. 
in regards to this wonderful, wonderful property that we offer you here today. For 38 years, that's the time frame that our current vendors have owned this property, but for 38 years they've created memories with their friends and family. For 38 years they've sat here and they've seen the suburb of North Carlton change from a very Mediterranean situation through to the upwardly mobile uh, double income people through to now the families coming back into the suburb and searching for homes such as 235 Amos Street in North Carlton. For 35 years they've tinkered around the edges and for 35 years, or for 38 years, and I'm under quoting on that regard ladies and gentlemen, for 38 years they have added their own touches to this particular property till such time as they have made it absolutely perfect. It is a unique property. It sits on some 515 square metres of land. That is unique in the North Carlton marketplace. We're usually selling properties of 120 through to 150 square metres. It certainly, from your perspective, is a unique offering in this particular marketplace. You come to the front, the property stands proud to the street and it would be with great pride that you return home on a regular basis and say, I own this property. I own this property and I am lucky to be in this part of the world. It offers you some superb accommodation as you walk straight into the door, the 1.5 metre wide hallway that does the dog leg down to the back, the three to four bedrooms, the open plan living at the back, the period detailing that this particular home offers is something that you will never regret purchasing. It is certainly with a heavy heart that our vendors make the decision to sell. Make no mistake of that. For 38 years they've enjoyed this particular home. It will be some 38 to 40 years before it comes back onto the marketplace again. I know that and you know that as well. It is very straightforward ladies and gentlemen. We have had sales in this street, a warehouse specifically in the last week that sold in excess of $2 million. I would have thought ladies and gentlemen, it's across to you at this time that we call for an opening bid, a very fair and reasonable opening bid, not at $2 million, a $950,000 start. I would have thought that's a fair and reasonable place for us to get underway ladies and gentlemen. I'm in your hands, who'd like to shout us at that bid, get us underway. A wonderful property, unique location at 950, that's my suggestion to you, I'm in your hands, a fair and reasonable start at 950, got to be worth that right now. At 950, sure. Open. Sorry. Nine hundred wouldn't come for fifty. Nine, sir. Thank you. I'll take you a bit at nine fifty. Who'd like to round me to fifty now? At nine's the bid. At nine hundred thousand dollars, gentlemen, holds the bid very clearly there at nine fifty in the rise of the call. At nine's bid here. At nine hundred thousand dollars, gentlemen, holds the bid at nine. Look for a rise to fifty. Great value, wonderful opportunity in five hundred and sixteen square metres of land. At nine hundred thousand, it's here. At nine hundred thousand dollars, first, second, third time now. At nine hundred thousand dollars, surely not for fifty. At nine, it's there. At nine hundred thousand dollars, prefer you to come to fifty with me, ladies and gentlemen. Otherwise, I'll take a bid to a bid at that level. At fifty bid. At nine hundred thousand dollars, gentlemen, holds that bid now. At nine, round me to fifty. Got to be worth it. I take a bid to a bid at fifty. At nine fifty, the bid. At nine hundred and fifty, back to you, sir. Let's take a rise at twenty on top. At fifty bid now. At nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars, bids here at nine fifty. Look for that rise at twenty on top. Round me to seventy, surely. At fifty bid. Back to my start. What about twenty? What about splitting the difference, 10? At 950, back to you for five. Who'd like to round me to eight? At 55, bid here. At 955,000 dollars, we're fairly good and offered here at 955 against my starter now, sir. Back to you. At 55. Two. Two, 57. 60, 57 bid. At 957. At 957,000 dollars, bid is right there at 950. 5,000. Five thousand dollars. It's nine fifty-seven sixty-two. Sixty-two. The bid. Round me to seventy. Sixty-two's here. At nine hundred and sixty-two. Mm. I knew it was going to be that. Four. Sixty-four. Seventy. At sixty-four is the bid. At nine hundred and sixty-four thousand dollars. Bid stands there at sixty-four. Back to you now. Five. Sixty-nine. Two. At nine hundred and sixty-nine thousand bids here, sir. Haven't forgotten about you. Is that four, five? Five thousand. Uh, 74, 974 the bid. At 974, back to the five again. 74's here. Round me to maybe one. At 974,000, bid's there. Can't tempt me for asking. 974,000, bid is right there. 79, back for five. 979,000 dollars. Bid stands there at 979, sir. Surely come back. 81, 
Make it five again. 981. 981,000 bidders here. Two. 83. Two. Five. Seven. Five. 85, uh, 87, it's here. At 987, just reaffirm that for me. 985, mm, sorry. 985. 985. 990. 990 now. At 995. Mm. Round me to a million. 995, it's here. At 995,000, bids right there at 995. One, one's the bid. Had a million dollars now. At one million even. Had a million dollars. Fairly bid and offered it against you in two <laughs> spots. At one, it's there. At one million dollars, we fairly bid now. One, look for five again. Had a million dollars. Not at a figure at which I'm authorised to sell. It's very clear at this stage. It won the bid there. At one million dollars. First, second, third time I'm calling now at a million dollars. The bid is right there. Very clear. Very straightforward. Not at a figure at which I'm authorised to sell. Accordingly, the rules of the auction apply. Should we see no further bidding, I intend to congratulate our highest bidder, escort her inside and offer her the first, sole and exclusive right to purchase this property at our vendor's reserve price to the exclusion of all others. Don't miss it right now. At one's the bid. At one million dollars. Two got. Two's the bid. Million and two. Back for four. At one million and two, the bid's here. At one million and two, even take five. If that helps you now, at a million and two. At one million and two. Five hundred. I won't take that at this stage. At a million and two, five thousand dollars would be a much better opportunity at this time. At one million and two, the bid is right there. Five? Five hundred. I knew you were gonna say that. Two and a half? Round me to five. Two and a half the bid. One million two five. Five hundred. Three. Two thousand. Five? Make it seven. Five's the bid. Two. As in two on top? Two thousand on. Seven? Million and seven. Round me to ten. One million and seven. At one million and seven, the bid's right there at a million and seven. Against you, still in two spots. Open to anyone else at a million and seven. Bid is here. Two thousand. Nine. At one million and nine. Bid's two. there. Two. Eleven. A million and eleven. Bid's right there at a million and eleven. Two thousand. Thirteen. Two. Fifteen. Seventeen. Two thousand. Seventeen. Five hundred. Seventeen and a half. Twenty. Seventeen and a half. The bid a million and seventeen and a half. Two thousand. 19 and a half. 500. 20. 1 million and 20. At a million and 20. Bids here at a million and 20. Right there, sir. Against you in two spots at this stage at a million and 20. Don't miss it for 500. At 1 million and 20 thousand dollars, the bid's right there at 1 million and 20. If it helps you, ladies and gentlemen, very clear, very straightforward. My instructions are to sell. At 1 million and 20, we are unreserved in selling at 1 million and 20. The bid is right there. At 1 million and 20, we look for a rise on top. You hold the bid now at a million and 20. Back to you in two spots at this stage. At 1 million and 20, we sell away. At 1 million and 20 thousand dollars, bid is right there. At um, one Mr. Oxley, I've bid about as much as I can, but. Stretch Could yourself. I go to a 120 day settlement? It might free, me up, free up my... Can't offer that terms to you. Unfortunately, we sell with the settlement date that we have. You're at a million and 20, it's very clear. The settlement terms are those that we've offered to you. Settling on the 10th of July, 2017. At one million and 20, we're unreserved and we sell. At one million and 20, should give my underbidder some up, but ask real opportunities to know where we're at. At one million and 20, the bid's here. At one million and 20. Two, 22, back to you for four. 22 the bid, a million and 22. Gentleman holds it at the back against you on the flanks. At one million and 22. You look like you're about to bid. No. At one million and 22,000. Four, six, sir. Four's the bid, 24, it's here. At one million and 24. Six, eight, 26 the bid. At a million and 26, natural retort for two. Eight, 30, surely. 28 the bid, at one million and 28,000. Bid's there. 30, back to you now, a million and 30. Two, two I've got, 32, back for four. 32, it's here, at one million and 32,000. 34, make it six, 34 the bid. At one million and 34,000, we sell away for one of a better bit at this stage. At one million and 34 bids, there against you in two spots, open to anyone else. At one million and 34,000 dollars. First time we're calling at a million and 34. Second time we're calling at a million and 34. Third time now at a million and 34,000, bids right there. Instructions, in or out. Can't tempt you for even one. At a million and thirty-four, gentleman holds it at the back, against you in two spots. Here, no. stretch for that one. No? no. Thank you for your bidding. At a million and thirty-four thousand dollars, bids there. It's open to anybody else at this stage. At one million and thirty-four thousand dollars, gentleman buys for one of a better bid right now. At one million and thirty-four thousand dollars, don't miss it now. At one million and thirty-four thousand dollars, <coughs> no late bids. When the contract hits my hand, we sell. 
gentleman buys at one million and thirty-four thousand dollars. All done. Sonnet finished at one million and thirty-four thousand dollars. First call at one million and thirty-four. Second call at a million and thirty-four. Third time now at one million and thirty-four thousand dollars. You all done. Sonnet finished at one million and thirty-four thousand dollars. Going. Going! Oh, congratulations and very well done, sir. <laughs> to our underbidders, commiserations, to everybody else, we do thank you for your interest here today and again look forward to seeing you at another Nelson Alexander auction.